You got hair. You got... I got a little bit. Yeah, you got all right. Let's yeah, just I mean, look at the still, back. It's still, it's still there. Ah, bro, you're solid. It's still there. He's got the double garage. That's all right. Man, I got a fucking. Oh, I, oh, I, there's no car park. Dude, I got a There's shopping. No I got a shopping center car park. <laughs> we were parked today. Just in the sun. I charge twenty bucks to park on my head too. Hundred percent. And then you can't get out at the end of the day. How are you, mate? I'm good, man. I'm good. How are you? Good. 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 Yeah. All going well. Oh, um. By the way, I'm Jace. I'm Matt Young from King Parrot. I'm Berjo from What We Did on the Weekend. Yeah. We see you around a bit. We, yeah, look, yeah. I get around a little bit, you know. I'm fucking like to you know, Melbourne boy. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Melbourne boy, I guess. But you know, I try to try and stay out of the city these days. It fucking gives me the shits. Busy. Yeah, too much. You know, by the time they finish doing all the road work around, like building these new roads, it's like it's too late. It's like the yeah. roads are full again. Yeah. Start again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all right. I build roads, so it's good for me. <laughs> good. The sign says save twenty minutes. I go by the time I'm going to get to the level of saving twenty minutes, it's going to take yeah. me ten years of saving twenty minutes to make up the time I just fucking lost. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I am a Melbourne boy. If that's what you're asking, right? <laughs> we got there in the end <laughs> somehow. No, we just all <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. But how many is King Parrot going now? Well, I reckon, what is it, 2024? 20, 20, 20, it's probably been about 14, 15 years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Veterans, bro. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> we were veterans before we even started the band. <laughs> I remember when you guys were, like, fresh. I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, this this is different. I was a bit more aggressive than everything else, and it was a bit fun still. And Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, But now you're just, like... You're like the dads and just like, oi, these are the fucking kings They're on all the heavy shows. Let's see. Yeah, no, I appreciate it, man. We, uh, all the guys in the band have all like played in lots of other bands over the years and through our 20s and stuff like that. And I think initially we kind of, when we were putting the thing together, we were trying to like get people that were, you know, like they were experienced, yeah. but, they, but we were ready to do it, you know. Yeah. Like, Wait, we this wanted, one's serious. Let's yeah, we go. Want to tour, you know, like we want to do that stuff. We want to, we want to go overseas and we want to do all of the things that we've uh, that we've done. So, uh, you know, that that can be a little bit tricky at the start, but we kind of got there in the end. We lost a few guys and gained a few, and but we've had the same kind of lineup now for you know nearly ten years. That's been good. That's been that's been nice, and you know, that's the the friendships and the and the uh, camaraderie that you build is really cool. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's uh, definitely all fucking veterans, though, that's for sure. <laughs> it's, it's fucking sick, though. Like, yeah, yeah. The longevity, because a lot of bands fucking don't make it. They make it five years, I don't know, 15. That's exactly right, man. That, that, that is the hardest thing about being in a band, <laughs> without a doubt, oh. is just keeping the fuck, keeping it together. It's fucking you know, nightmare. Making sure that oh. we're all, you know, we're on the same page. There's a lot of, you know, you kind of you kind of got to grow up, right? You just <laughs> got to be, be able to communicate effectively and, and talk to each other respectfully and do all those fucking Take things. criticism. Yeah, right. And get the fucking shits and have a hissy fit. Ooh, yeah. Who said my fucking riffs suck, cunt? Yeah. Oh, shut the fuck up. You suck, cunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. We're, we've sort of, you know, grown up a little bit together in, in the last sort of, you know, 10 or 15 years or whatever it's been. And uh, it's been it's been a pleasure to do it. And, you know, I'm getting the opportunity to, you know, Still, I think in the last six months, we've probably played some of the biggest shows we've ever played, um, you know, in this US and, and out here now as well. And it's like, it's uh, it's promising for us. And, you know, we've been we've been working on new new music as well. Got a new record coming uh, this year, later this year. Ooh. Yeah. So it's because it's, it's been a while too, hasn't it? It's been a while, man. Yeah, we did an EP during COVID. We put out some stuff mm -hmm. that we'd recorded. But, what was your uh, other project you did during COVID? Uh, I've been doing a thing called Crisis Act. I'm all over it. Yeah, you like it? I yeah. bought it all. I'm fucking telling every cunt. I'm like, get on this. It's like 400 tracks on a seven inch. It's sick. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was a little thing we did. I did with the uh, with the guys from Psychroptic, Dave and mm -hmm. Joe. Uh, awesome guys and you know incredible musicians. So when they were like, "Hey, you want to do a little project with us, like a, a grindcore kind of project?" I was like, "I'm in." For sure, you know. Fucking like, oath. You don't say no to those guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Shout out Anubis Studios. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. How's it feel playing Not First Australia with your mates in Pantera? You know, they were uh, pretty adamant that we were playing Not First. <laughs> we were like, yeah, right. 
righto. Uh, <laughs> let's do it. You cunts are on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See? Yeah. But you're on at 11.20 a.m. Yeah, we were on at 11.20 a.m. But you know what? A lot of people were like messaging us, commenting and, and saying, oh, boy, they put you on so early and all that. And I just said, I said, you know why? Because you guys are a bunch of alcoholics and they want you here drinking piss all day. 100%. <laughs> we said it this morning. We said, King Parrot's on first. So everyone gets in, starts loading up. Yeah. And by the time Pantera's on, everyone's going to be <laughs> fucking wrecked. Man, I said that. I just said that to Chris O'Brien, the guy who's putting it all together from Destroy All Lines. I was like, you guys... Exactly. I was like, right. smart. Yeah. <laughs> you don't drink anymore, though, do you? I don't drink, no. Sober man. Yeah, yeah same. Yeah. Same. Sober yeah, gang? Yeah. yeah, 12 years now. Fuck, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. I, I fit a lot in early days, you know. I fit in <laughs> like, probably. You did your li- lifetime, lifetime worth? At least yeah. Another couple of decades worth. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good now. A lot of people are starting to do it now. It's, it's true. And yeah. being sober is not like, it used to be taboo. Right. Like, this cunt doesn't drink, fucking party pooper. But now it's like, oh, that's actually pretty sick. That was mainly just you, though. <laughs> yeah, it's me. I was a fucking. <laughs> they were all like, thank God. <laughs> this cunt's off it. <laughs> no, I like the, I like the whole. You know, like if people ask me or offer me or whatever, I just say, Look, I'm an alcoholic, man. Yeah. If I have one sip, it's over. Yeah, yeah right. So that's just, I, I don't, I just don't do it. So it's, it's, it's easier that way. And, and, and when you say that to someone, they usually just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's in this game, like the live music, entertainment, all the bullshit. Yeah, it's fueled by alcohol. So it's like being sober is like twice as hard than everyone else. It's sick. Twelve yeah. years, fucking bang, and like your fans, they're not sober. They are, they <laughs> certainly are not sober. They're definitely not sober. But yeah, it's kind of funny, you know. It's 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 sort of it's a weird thing for me. I mean, the other guys all like to. Oh well, Squiz has actually quit recently. Hey. Toddy doesn't drink much. Slats and Ari still drink, but you know, it's uh, it's just one of those things that uh, I don't know. Just just our approach to things, you know, the Australia, the Australiani, uh, Australiana aesthetic that we have, and just the approach that we have to our music and stuff seems to lend itself to. Drinkers, Beer for some drink. Yeah, yeah, man. Our shows are, are wild, you know. And uh, fucking out there, wild. Yeah, yeah. When we, when, I mean, <clears throat> there was plenty of people going bananas at eleven twenty this morning. You know what I mean? I was like, I was surprised. You know, oh, it was, we it was, we watched them it was at the packed. fucking gates. They yeah. were like King Parrot. We're like yeah, yeah. sick. Yeah, right. And I mean, when we get to play in the clubs and stuff like yeah. that, it's so. Um, I'm, I'm proud of what we've been able to achieve with, with, with our audience. They know what to, they, they're coming to expect. They're coming to, coming to a fucking party. Yeah. And, and we're going to, you know, just go bananas for an hour and uh, leave it all there. You know, leave all your troubles there. Leave all your bullshit. Get it out. And, uh, well, that's what I do anyway. <laughs> and, you know, and, and you can put it into the music. And it's, yeah. it's, it's, for me, I'd say to lots of people all the time, I'm like, this is therapeutic for me. You know, when we don't play for like, Two or three months, I'm like, it's time, <laughs> it's time to do a man. gig, man. Let's, let's get out Itching. there. You know? But yeah, I mean, and so we've we've actually been like spending, you know, a lot of the summer writing. So we haven't been able to play in too many shows until we did the Pantera show on Tuesday in Adelaide. And how'd that go down in Adelaide? Oh, amazing, man! Adelaide, Adelaide fuck, it seems like you a real too. Yeah. right. Yeah, we, we we had a great mosh pit going. It was it was awesome. It was it was beyond my expectations. Sick. But I think when you you know, we we played with Pantera a little bit last year in in the US, and mm-hmm. that was incredible. You know, that was a, a really incredible experience. They were playing like fucking stadiums, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like those in America, they've got those sort of custom built amphitheater mm. kind of places that have just got amazing acoustics and all of that sort of stuff. So, um, and you're fucking running around pointing at cunts in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. But you know, it's it's <laughs> totally, totally. Um, but I think there's a, there's probably a little like similarity in in our audience and and Pantera. Pantera's audience oh yeah no, 100 yeah much bigger yeah but um we have the same approach with Pantera shows it's like it's just this energy and this anticipation that mm-hmm. just builds you could feel it in Adelaide the other night when we were there it was like the audience were just so pumped you know there's lots of people that flew in because uh, they wanted to go and see the, the headline the show, show. Yeah. Yeah. show like yeah. it wasn't at a festival so there was this anticipation building and uh, yeah there's, there's nothing quite like that you yeah. know for, for uh, when it comes to like heavy 
extreme they're kind the of gods. metal. They're the ones. They're the, 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 they are. They're they, the fucking they ones, They laid bro. the foundation for, for, for a lot of bands that are uh, doing that stuff now. So, including us. I mean, obviously influenced by a hell of a lot of other stuff as well. But I'm, when I was a 14-year-old whippersnapper uh, <laughs> coming through the ranks, man, yeah. Pantera were my number one band. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah no, fuck. It's yeah. so sick. It is. It is. It's exciting, and they do. Uh, they do such a good job of honouring the brothers, you know. So 100%. it's pretty, and it's special for us too, you know, like being able to play with them here in Melbourne, and yeah. our city. I mean, home turf, bro. right? Yeah, I saw them. I was, That's a fucking huge tick. Yeah, bro. We played with Pantera at in our house. <laughs> yeah, like, right. Fuck. I mean, I saw them in. I was 14, I reckon, 1994, I saw them play at... You're not that old. Settle I down. I am that old, man. Settle am, down. I am 43 years of age. Oh, he done right. Yeah, yeah. So um, I uh, I saw them at the Festival Hall. Yeah. I, I can't... I think it was a band called Mantissa were supporting. Shout out. Yeah, Shout out yeah. Mantissa. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Mantissa. They used to be they used to be this heavy metal magazine called Hot Metal that we used to buy religiously. Hot Metal. Yeah, yeah. it was called Hot Metal. And um, I thought it was just for welding. No, no, no. <laughs> just got <called> different <laughs> fabricators book. <laughs> it was huge. It was the thing. It yeah. was in the it was it was in like the 90s. it was like the like the heavy magazine yeah. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of the 90s and uh, it was something else. That sh- that show like blew my mind. It probably changed the trajectory of my life. I oh, would I'd, say. <laughs> that's sick, though. That's the mm. moment. Just like, oh. Yeah, it's like, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to, you know, me. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to do that. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. And now, that's you're, it, <laughs> that's and now you're on a festival with them in your hometown. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. All, and they flew you around the states. Like, get over here, boys. All, all, fucking... all the things that have that have happened, you know, through our affiliation with uh, with Phil and Selma mm. and and Housecore Records yeah. and. All of that stuff, you know. Like we've been with them for nearly ten years now, so we've been able to tour with Down and um, Super Joint Ritual and fill in the Illegals, and you know we brought them out here to Australia uh, back in 2019 and done Japan with them, and you know it's just been a, it, it, a it, yeah exceptional experience for us. Yeah, enjoy the Night Fest run. Oh, we'll do, man. Good to see you again. Great to see you guys, and thanks for your support. We always no appreciate it. Thank you very much. Cheers.